Hi, my name is Jess and I'm a full-time artist from Toronto. This is my series where I find ugly pieces of art at the thrift store and try and transform them into something I'd actually hang on my wall. This is a very generic abstract piece that I found at the thrift store. This is a mass produced painting, so there are tons of this exact same piece out there. To me, this is an unsuccessful piece of art because the composition is very weak. There are no main points of interest. It's all the same pattern, brushstroke, color, all over the canvas. It looks more like wallpaper. I'm going to try and add some personality to this painting and make it less generic and more a unique piece of art. My first step was to get out my ruler and create a grid across the painting. My goal was to reduce the abundance of vertical lines in the composition by adding in some horizontal ones. I decided to draw inspiration from an artist named Cécile Touchon. His work is really centered around grids, so lots of horizontal and vertical lines, but inside each square is a very expressive shape. He also uses a lot of blue, so I thought that would go perfectly with this painting. After I did my grid, I added in the expressive brushstrokes going all different ways, but staying within the lines of each square. I was going for an inverse version of this piece of art. I made sure to use tape so that my lines were super crisp because what's interesting about Cécile Touchon's artwork is the juxtaposition between the crisp grid and the more messy expressive brushstrokes inside. I never paint abstract so it was really fun to just play around with the paint and kind of explore and do some really gestural crazy brushstrokes. I did decide that I hated it, so I decided to paint over it in a blue glaze. I chose a glaze because it's transparent and I wanted to keep the details of the original painting as well as my first attempt. I find abstract paintings always work best when there's tons of layers. Applying this blue glaze was super satisfying and very soothing, so by the time I was finished, I was relaxed and ready to try this transformation again. For my next attempt, I decided to draw inspiration from two new abstract artists, Jackie Anderson and Caroline Denervo. I tried to mimic the abstract shapes of Denervo's work, but also follow my original attempts with white paint that you could still see peeking through the blue glaze. And then I filled in the shapes with the same style of color blocking that Anderson uses in her work. It was so fun to experiment and wipe away and reveal what was underneath and then put more paint on. There are parts where the original painting is still peeking through, which looks like this as a reminder. Super generic, very home sense. And here is my finished transformation. I really love it. I don't normally gravitate towards abstract art, but the colors in this and the shapes and all the layers are really working for me. I like that the texture of the original painting is still there, as well as the colors and those vertical lines. But with my additions, suddenly the composition has so much more life. It no longer looks like wallpaper or repeating pattern. Each inch of it is different and unique. I think what really elevates an abstract painting is the number of layers in it. I personally really enjoy looking at art where I'm not quite sure how it was made. You would never be able to mass produce this or copy it just by looking at it. Thank you for watching and I have so much more planned.